course, there are div many different ways to organize your postgraduate students and their projects. I'm going to show you one way, and this is done through Excel. So I've put together an Excel spreadsheet. And here at the bottom, you'll see the students, all the students that I supervise, PhDs and MSCs are listed here. I removed their names and student numbers for privacy sake. And here there's a date of first registration, the degree, the project title, the name of the other supervisors, my supervision role, whether it's primary or secondary, the area, study design, methods, the number of paper they, pub they published so far in their postgraduate journey, the next deadline, the next milestone, whether they have submitted for ethics, if they have to de present to the department, the input required, whether it's with me or with the student, um, and then the final submission date. This is f a filter button. So it's just the under data, the filter but button. And it just makes it easy if you want to quickly have a list of only PhD or MSc students. You use that function. Now if you go up here, you'll see the statistics. And it's just a summary of everything that's, that's been going on down here. So here's the students per degree, the project per area input required and all it is is just the count if function that I've used there. These uh, sums are all naught because I removed the names and the uh, and the student numbers but it's a good summary just to refer back to. Then here you'll see move to complete it. This is a macro button. So you click on one of these rows and say the student has graduated, they've completed and you click move to complete it. And those names get moved to the completed sheet. And here are all the students that have completed their degrees with the stats and here, it's, here are the summaries of the stats below. And this is specifically for the students who have already completed. I hope this helps and gives you some idea how to organize your students and projects and enjoy playing around with Excel. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.